When I think of cooking with cheese, the first thing that comes to mind to me is quiche Lorraine. It happens to be one of my very favorite things. Now, I like any kind of quiche. Actually, I like a broccoli, a spinach, mushroom, whatever. But quiche Lorraine is the number one. We're going to start off with one half of a medium onion. And I have four uh, slices of bacon. I have them, so it looks like eight. And I've got a frying pan that I'm going to heat up here. And I'm going to put like a tablespoon of olive oil in there to get this started. So I'm going to take my onion and I want it sliced thin. I don't want it chopped. I like little slices instead. So I'm going to get very, very thin slices. That's, that's about enough. I don't need that much onion. Okay. Really depends upon the size of your onion. What I think is a medium onion and what you think is a medium onion might be two different things. But you can see. You can see how much I put in there. This doesn't have to be terribly exact. And then I'm going to take my bacon and I want this to be diced. So cut it up. I don't know about you, but there are some things in this world that just, the smells are unbelievable. Bacon and onions cooking are one. Coffee, bread baking, wonderful smells. Those go in. And now what I need to do is I'm just going to saute these until the bacon gets crisp. Our onions and bacon are sauteed. Now what we're going to do is drain them because there's still the oil that we sauteed them in plus all the fat that exuded out of the bacon. We don't want that in our quiche or in our hearts. So look at all that fat that came out. Okay, now put that into our shell. Get that out of here. If you want to, you can put more bacon in, but this is a pretty thin shell. Now you can do this shell in a uh, regular pie plate. This is my own homemade regular pie uh, dough. You can buy it in the supermarket if you wish. That's fine. They actually make pretty good pie doughs nowadays and you can buy them already in the pan. So you just uh, in the freezer. So you're ready to go and you can actually um, do this when the shell is still frozen. So now another good one is when you have ham at home and you have some leftover ham, put the ham in here. You don't have to saute it with onions and maybe some, you could put some broccoli or some spinach in there and make the same mixture and you've got a really good quiche, a ham and cheese quiche. Lovely. All right. Now I also have some shredded cheddar cheese. Normally, if this were the classic quiche Lorraine, you would use Gruyere cheese, which is a, a Swiss cheese melts beautifully. It's got that really gooey texture, but I don't have any today. And I do have cheddar, so I'm going to use that. And I use it very often, and uh, it works out very well. So you need about a cup. Again, it depends on the size of the shell that you're using. If you're using a pie shell, it's going to be deeper, so you might want to add a little bit more cheese. And as you can see, I've got this on a cookie sheet that's also lined with foil because I really don't want to clean my oven if I don't have to, if there happens to be an accident. Just evenly distribute it. I like to get it all the way out to the ends. Okay. Now I have in my bowl, I've got two whole eggs and two egg yolks. And to that I'm going to add some pepper. Not a lot. I'm not going to put any salt in here because the bacon is pretty salty and we don't need any extra. Whip those up. Okay. Now to that, I'm going to add one and one half cups of light cream. If you don't have light cream, you can use half and half or you can use whole milk, but don't use 1% or 2%. It just doesn't have enough fat content in it. And you'll be disappointed with the results and you'll say, oh, this didn't come out that great. Well, what you put in is what you get out. 
Now, my oven is heating to 375 degrees. This might be a little bit too much mixture for this size tart pan again. I usually make it in a pie pan, but I, I wanted to make it in a pretty tart pan because I have it and why not use it? So we'll see how much it takes. I don't want it to go too much to the top so it's overflowing. Just pour it in. My oven's at 375. This quiche is going to bake for about 20 to 30 minutes. Again, it's a shorter pan. I usually do it in a pie pan. If it's a pie pan, it's closer to 30 minutes. This might be closer to 25. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. And one way to test it is, first of all, the top will get lightly browned, and then you can put a, a regular knife into it, and if it comes out clean, it's done. And if it just shimmers, just a touch. So into the oven it goes, and we'll take a look at 20 minutes. Here's our quiche out of the oven. I've let it sit at room temperature for about 10 minutes. It's still very, very warm, which is good. That's why I like these molds. Wow, that bottom is still hot. And it's nice and easy to unmold. Let me show you what it looks like when we cut it open. The crust is beautiful. It just shatters when you touch it. That's really good. Look at that. Now that would be a good breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, or a snack. Quiche is an all-day thing. I hope you try it because Quiche Lorraine is really, really good.